So I just got finished with my run. And as I was running, I was thinking about accountability. And I feel whenever I um, have eyes watching me, um, I do better. I know that's not the best thing, but I want to take advantage of that. And that's why I'm making these videos so I can look back and other people can be watching me and uh, I can hold myself accountable. I feel I don't have a lot of good momentum right now and the direction I want to be headed for my life. That is the reason I'm making these videos is so I can look back and hold myself accountable. So far, I just finished up my bike. It was five miles uh, sprints. I was doing sprints up a hill on the bike. Um, after that, I went into a two mile cool down run 920 pace uh, my plan was to do 10 minutes went a little bit faster felt good i just finished up a triathlon um, on sunday today is wednesday i feel more motivated to exercise after the race than i did before i think it has to do with momentum i i feel after the race i i identify more as a athlete in a way so it it pushed me to run yesterday and today wednesday my routine every morning is read some scripture, um, study it, and then triathlon training. I actually need to add homework to that as well. Let me go ahead and add that. Perfect. So that's what we have for today. Knock that out, and then I'm going to chill out the rest of the day. It's pretty late in the day, but I'm going to cook my breakfast, my first meal of the day. I eat the same thing every day because I really like it. The reason I like eating the same thing every day, which is some eggs, some toast, avocado. I don't have to think about it. I just whip it up, it takes about eight minutes. Um, I'll show you guys real quick. Avocado toast, salt, and then I use this everything bagel seasoning. Shout out Tara and Chris Smith. Breakfast, eggs, avocado toast. So I got two toll bills. Gotta pay these real quick. Gonna knock those out. Somebody one time told me they don't pay their toll bills. Nobody's ever come after them or anything, but I'm scared, so I pay mine. Now I have to do my five contacts for the day. I did two during breakfast. Um, those five contacts that I make for real estate, they all have to respond to me. So we have to have conversations. It's not just me reaching out to them. So I'm gonna go ahead and knock those out. All right, contact done. I ended up doing six. I text usually 10 people right around there and six happened to reply. Five contacts done. Uh, we're gonna knock out Sabor. Um, I just need a letter. I forget what kind of letter they wanted um, from the Austin Board of Realtors. They Austin Board of Realtors needs to send a letter to San Antonio Board of Realtors, just making sure I'm paying my bills, I guess. So this is what I was talking about. They want my primary board, which is the Austin Board of Realtors, to provide a letter of good standing for 2024 within five business days. All right, say board done. Um, text one of my clients, get a search done for one of my clients. One of the people I met with that's looking to sell their house wants to get their gutters replaced, so I need to find somebody that has a reasonable deal, send that over to them. So I just texted one of my clients to get them set up with a lender. Now I'm gonna do a property search for one of my relatives. Um, they're looking for a property closer to work. After that, I'll get the, the company that does gutter installations sent over to the customer I was talking to, then Get a quick workout in, knock on my chores, and then go ahead and take a test for school. 
and that should be it. All right, just got off the phone with a client. Going to be con getting him in touch with somebody that can install gutters on his home. You know, finished up the home search for the other client that's looking to move closer to work. Uh, got them sent, I think there were about four properties um, that had their criteria. So that's done. They're going to discuss it um, and get back to me. A couple more people actually responded to my messages. So got to have two more conversations. So we're right around eight for the day. Right now I'm going to double check the client who's looking to get gutters replaced. Um, that same client said that they saw a moving truck in the neighborhood. So I'm going to check the neighborhood real quick, see if that property on the corner lot sold. If that property did sell on that corner lot, it's going to give me a really good idea of what to price his property at just because at the moment there's not a lot of movement in the neighborhood as far as homes being sold. So I'm going to get that knocked out. Um, I'm going to check the status of that property and see if it's um, under contract or still active. All right, let's make some lunch real quick. All right, we got some smoked chicken thighs that I smoked the other day. Delicious. We have some potato salad that I made and I'm gonna cook some broccoli to go with it. Look at that steam. Delicious. Thank you God for this food. Lunch done. Delicious. I'm gonna clean up real quick and then we'll see what I have next on the board. Okay. All right, so I checked a couple days ago. Me and Roman are on day 72, 73 um, of doing this. We started January 1st and we started with quantity, so we did a ton of pull-ups towards the end. We would like incrementally increase it, and then we switched over to weight. So now we keep 20 pull-ups a day, and we add 10 pounds every week. So we're on week three. So I got 30 right here. We'll see how many I can knock out. Workout done. I don't do anything crazy. Just the pull-ups daily. And then today I decided to knock out some curls. Um, let's get my chores knocked out. Get that test done. Okay, good. Just got this in. The Strong's Concordance. This thing is so cool. Um, you can, it has every word of the Bible and it's reference. And then it has the Hebrew and Greek, and I think there's some Aramaic as well, um, translations, so you can see what the, the original word was translated from. I think it's so cool. I got it this morning. I used it. I wanted to use it on every word in the Bible verse, but I just, I limited myself, you know. Um, but I think it's super cool. It was only uh, 25 bucks on Amazon. It's called a uh, Strong's Concordance. Side note, tomorrow I think I'm gonna go to the river in the morning to get a swim in. Um, but I was just thinking how cool it is that I get to do that. I can, because I'm working as a real estate agent, you know, my time is super flexible. I, I was thinking back, because I used to work at Chick-fil-A, whenever I punched in there, I was paid based off the time I was there, right? Obviously, 
I'm working. But with with very few jobs, is there a productivity factor on the employee level, right? I mean, at Chick-fil-A, yes, we worried about productivity, but at the end of the day, you clock in and you get paid for the time that you're clocked in for. Whereas in real estate, I can, you know, get my stuff done in six hours, or I can get that same amount of stuff done in three. And based on how productive I am, I have more freedom and flexibility in my day. Um, so that's part of the reason I'm doing these vlogs is to hold myself accountable so I can, you know, this isn't a very long checklist, but if I knock it out, it's a, it's a productive day. I didn't make any huge accomplishments, but little accomplishments like this every single day are going to add up and eventually I'll get the sale. I'll get the, the buyer to move into their dream home. So <clears throat> little wins will get me where I need to be. I'm not looking for massive victories on a day-to-day -day basis. I'm looking for little consistent wins that will, will achieve my goals. I didn't share this with you guys, but this is my roadmap. I made this, um, I think I made that last year when I was, yeah, last year around August. Um, I made this roadmap for myself um, and you work from the top to the bottom. So 10 years out, I wanna own 10 rental properties. Five years out, I want to purchase primary residence, earn bachelors, one year, one month, one week, one day. So this is when I was just leaving Chick-fil-A. I told myself, where do I want to be and what do I need to do today to get there, right? So this is super helpful for me. I can look up here every day and say, okay, if I can, you know, commit this time, this is where I want to be. Because oftentimes you forget about this. But at the same time, you need to be looking at your day to day. But yeah, maybe something y'all could do is that have that roadmap because it gives you so much guidance. Sometimes you forget. Um, you got to remember you're working for your future self. You're working for God ultimately, but you got to do stuff for your future self too. If I was working for today, Daniel, I would have just been playing Rocket League or something all day long. But I'm working for 10 years from now, Daniel. And I'm preparing myself for that point. So I was looking through some photos from my race on Sunday, the triathlon. Here's me right here. Um, and I remember Saturday night, um, I think it was Saturday night before I was going to go. My dad, he told me, um, hey, I got to talk with a friend of mine. Um, he does a lot of triathlons. He has a lot of experience with them. And out of everything he's learned, he gave me one piece of advice, and that was to have fun. Coming out of the water after a swim, and yeah, just at the end of it, I was dying. I plan to do another one next year, but I hope this triathlon um, stays with me for a while, because I, I think I had fun. I tried hard to have fun. It was, it was different for me, for sure. Here's me running, finishing. I was dying, dude. I was dying. Just got to the church for youth group tonight. That's going to be it for episode one of accountability for me. Um, Lord willing, I will see you guys bright and early at the river. Catch you guys later.